Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting here inside the tiny house having my coffee. It is like five minutes before 4 a.m. and I'm already awake. And what's really weird is I feel like I got a good night's sleep. I went to bed early, but I just woke up and I was thinking, gosh, I want to make something for breakfast. Um, I was thinking about all these different things I could make. So went ahead and made my coffee. And I'm sitting here in my tiny house looking around at a couple things I did yesterday. Well, I got my kitchen clean for one. So I'm going to show you those one, but once it gets a little bit more daylight in here. Ah, hell, I got some lights over there. I'll just show you right now. Just a quick scan to let you know what my tiny house looks like at this hour. This is my mom's tea cart, and I got a little candle going. Got my salt and pepper shakers there, and just a little table setting. There's my sink, and I need to get a light on over here. All right, here we go. I know you guys have seen this before, but maybe not at this hour. Got my Berkey out. There's a couple things I need to clean up over there. Yeah, I definitely need to get the super clean out and clean that. Right now, everything's just kind of stacked up over there. Once I get shelves, the bottom shelf is going to be um, for pots and pans. But look at this. Remember Lena from Red Road Homestead gave me this awesome little shelf thing? Well, I got it hung up yesterday, and I am just so happy with the way it looks. You know what? Sometimes just the simplest, easiest things will just make your tiny house so much more special. And I could have stood these up, but I didn't want to because they would block this cool lettering, so I laid them down. I've got all of my frequently, most frequently used herbs and spices and whatnot on this shelf and it just looks perfect there oh my gosh still haven't gotten the corner trim in yet or the windows trimmed or anything trimmed for that matter but I love my kitchen I just really really love oops pan slower love my kitchen and I can't wait to get my shelves up starting right there it just looks nice I love it this sink configuration is working just fine, and I keep that covered up because I usually have dishes in it. But this is kind of what my tiny house looks like at nighttime. <laughs> yes, it is so cozy in here, you guys. It may look a little messy to you. It does look a little messy to me, but that's okay. Once I get shelves and storage units and cabinets and whatnot, it's just going to be so much more functional, so cute. Yes, very cute over here. I just love it. I love my kitchen. And after getting it cleaned, you know, I had this whole area covered with stuff. It was just covered. Oh, in there, there's some tomatoes. I gotta get rid of those potatoes. Got some eggs in there. But um, it just made me wanna cook. It just made me want to cook. So I don't know, I'm gonna cook something today. I did wanna show you one thing. I got this loosely light up here. I bought, this is a cheap version. It doesn't, ha it's it's smaller than the regular Lucy light, um, but it does charge solar. It's dead right now. I just put it on top of here. Um, I probably won't even expend any of my energy trying to recharge this because it's just not a good Lucy light. I took it out of my store, but let me show you what it looks like if I put a little light on top of this. It may be hard to see because it's so dark in here, but sometimes I just want a kind of like a muted ambient glow so I'll put the light on top of that and it'll just make that little tractor supply company bucket glow and I just love it yeah I'm just a simple woman with simple pleasures I mean just the most simple basic things bring me joy and this little light here brings me so much joy you may have noticed that little Lucy light right there. That's the one that I've had since I've been in the van. It did have the little inflatable part, but um, it went flat. So I just took it off and I attached a magnet to it so that if I'm cooking, sometimes if I just want to have this little light on, it just goes right there and it gives me plenty of light. Pretty cool. I decided on two farm fresh eggs over two slices of B&M bread and some sliced ham that's been fried up. Now nah, the presentation isn't all that great, but I know it's gonna be delicious. See those curtains? They are literally just nailed up at the corners and I just put little signs over the top of them. Oh, that screen, I uh, Papa pulled it out and I don't have another screen I can put in and the little part that goes around it, it just doesn't fit in right, so I got it taped up. 
Anyhow, I will not... I will not be doing curtains any other way. I'm not going to put curtain rods up. This is all I need. I like the way it looks. I like its rustic nature. So, yeah, that's the way it's going to stay. I got one over here, too. Got a little fan in the window. I need to find a better position for that light. But keep it simple. Yep, this nailed up and pulled off to the side. I don't see any reason why I need to do it any differently than that. I just love it. I want to be the kind of person my dog thinks I am. Yes, indeed. I had this one in the van, too. Be nice or get out. Lori, I just wanted to make sure you could see this little thing. Uh, it is on my bed every single day. I love it. It is perfect. Papa gets up on the bed sometimes, and he doesn't really like getting on that because he likes to be cool. But I like it on top of there. I like to take a little nappy poo, and it's very, very soft, and I love the colors. And I think you guys have seen this window before. Yes, just nailed at the corners. I got a little sign up there. Yeah, I'm just hanging that little light right up there. It's perfect. And I just tie it back with this thing. And I absolutely love my window dressings. And that is the way they're going to stay. Well, Papa escaped again. So what I've had to do is bring another pallet over here and put it over here because he was getting through the netting on that side. And so far, it's holding him. He took off this morning, didn't you, mister? Didn't you? Trying to find your girlfriend. And he stayed gone for several hours. So hopefully, hopefully this will hold him. You know how I was complaining about my garden and the vegetables and all that kind of stuff? Check this out. These are the cayenne pepper plants. Now, this happened basically overnight. We've had a little bit of rain. Look at that. Look at that huge cayenne pepper. Look it. Look it. I got a ton of them. I got one there too. Look at this one. It's all curvy. All over the place. I've got cayenne peppers growing. I got some smaller ones up here. Look at that one. That's bigger. I can't believe it. I've even got some over on this one smaller but they're coming in i am totally gonna get cayenne peppers this year you guys look at my beautiful plants i did cut those extra limbs off and i don't know i think i cut too much i wouldn't be surprised if this dies i'm gonna let that one ripen on the vine the beans are coming back can you believe it uh this one was, was already one stock so it's looking pretty healthy i cut some off of this one and it looks like, yeah, we're getting a tomato there, so we'll see how that goes. I think this one was already one stalk, but I don't even see any flowers on it. But you know what? You don't want to grow tomato plants. You want to grow tomatoes, right? So I don't know if these will survive. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Now that Papa is on lockdown, what I have to do, because he knows how to open this gate. It's a big, heavy gate, but he knows how to open it. So I have to step on the lock down there. I have to engage that. And then that's not even enough. I have to put a bungee around it because he can open this gate. But since he's not getting as much exercise right now, what I have to do is just take him out on walks. And honestly, he kind of likes going for walks with me. He really does. Whoops, don't let me step on you. It gives him exercise. It gives me exercise. I parade him around trees. Look at He's stopping right here looking off in that direction. That's the direction that his girlfriend is. Found me some nice wild lettuce. Yep, I'm going to take this home. Put it in the fridge. And throw it in something for dinner. Yep, I got the neck fans on today. Papa's sitting in front of the big box fan that's just inside the door. I got fans going in every window. You know what? It's actually cooler inside the tiny house than it is outside. So, <sighs> I got to go into town. I'm going to get some ice and literally just try and chill out for the rest of the day. It's going to cool down tomorrow. We're supposed to get more rain. So, keep my fingers crossed about that. I hope all your days went really, really well, and I hope your gardens are growing well, picking up after any of this heat wave. I mean, it is literally a heat wave all over North America and Canada and other countries as well. It's crazy, but we'll make it through it. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.